we're at the phase here now of the uh, construction work where we're installing the electrical work inside the chimney. Uh, what you're looking at there is I've installed a junction box inside the wall of the chimney in there. And I'm bringing in the hot wires into that box and I'm running a, another lead out to run to a box on the floor down here. This box down toward the bottom will be to run the blower off of the back of our heater. Um, what you're, what you're going to be seeing here is I'm twisting the wires together, cutting them off, putting the wire nut on, and I'll be taping them uh, because that's what code requires here. And we know we're trying to keep everything up to code so that we don't, uh, you know, we don't have any kind of problems or anything like that. The next scene you're going to see here is um, we're actually cutting the studs out inside here, the framework. We're going to be installing studs for a doorway system in which you'll see here in uh, just a minute. It's my son-in-law, he's holding a flashlight for me while I cut and then it gets to be a problem for my neck so he kind of steps in and starts helping to install the studs and everything, trying to frame this doorway out so that we can cut it out from the outside once we have it installed here. As you can see, the doorway is completely framed up here now from the uh, inside the house. It's one of those things that makes it a whole lot simpler. Once we have it framed up, we're going to put a screw in every corner of that doorway going to the outside, and we'll be popping a line on the outside of the house. Once we take the vinyl siding off, we'll be cutting that hole out from the outside when we get our door unit in. Makes it a whole lot simpler to go ahead and do it now where you see my finger pointing is where we're going to be putting screws in these corners right here to the outside that I'm telling you about. So that it'll make it a lot easier to cut that door out from the outside once we get the vinyl siding off. It's just, um, you know, it makes it a lot simpler when you do it this way. We don't have to guess where the studs are at from the outside. We're going to move on to the insulating part of it next. As you can see in this next clip here, we've got the insulation installed. We've got it we decided to go with R13. That's what we had here at the house. We put that up and then we're going to be installing the sheetrock over that. As you can see here, we've got the sheetrock installed over the hole. We went ahead and closed up the hole where the pipe's going to be going because we don't have the pipe to put in there at this time. And then I began to uh, go ahead and start floating the sheetrock out, trying to get some mud on it there. We're not being that particular with it at this point because we're just trying to get some mud over the seams and let it dry for a day or two before we actually go back with the finished coats and try to, you know, float it out like it needs to be floated out. Because the mud's a little thick right here. We're doing it like that on purpose because we're trying to close up some wide gaps in the sheetrock. 